Yo, what's good guys? It's JD here. Hello, welcome back to another episode of the Nomi Said Road to Glory. And today we're going to be talking all about the card collector level reward. So yesterday, literally just yesterday, we hit 900 cards and we got the Hall of Fame badge option pack. If you don't want it spoiled, check it out right now because I'm about to spoil it and show you guys which badge we took. Bang. It was Hall of Fame blinders. Damn, awesome. And that was for 900 cards. As you can see, in terms of MT, I, I have no MT, and that is because we are now rocking at 1,084. That's right, we've nearly bought 200 cards since yesterday. Bruh. And I'm going to go through why, and my whole mindset now, to, between now and the end of the year, and it is pretty much all geared towards these card collector levels. We're going to break down the entire amount of MT that you get, the entirety of the tokens that you get, all the pink diamonds, all the opals, etc. that you get. Obviously, these mystery players, we don't know what they are just yet, but we'll hopefully have a little bit of a guess of what they're going to be. And we've got a few cards to open up. So we've got Amethyst Slick Watts. We've got a diamond contract as well. And then we completed a draft today. We've got an Amethyst player pick and or player pack and three Ruby player packs because we went 10 and 0 again. And then I did a new draft and I lost the game. I just, I rage quit out of it. Uh, it wasn't a rage quit. It was a save my sanity quit. Uh, this is the new draft. Dame, good. Donovan, good. Anthony Edwards, good. Jermaine O'Neal, not good. Antonio Davis, not good. The big men on this draft, hideous. The last draft was so good, and we did it in two hours. 10 and 0 run in two hours. Average 10, oh, average of five games per hour. Brilliant. Only one of them went all the way, and that was the final game. Uh, yeah, this, this draft, pretty ropey. But Anyway, let's go ahead and let's jump into it. We've got another card added in there. And I'll tell you guys the prices of which I've been paying for everything and what I've actually been paying, uh, what I've been actually buying. So, uh, yeah, exciting times. I'm really pumped for this account now for the rest of the year. So let's jump into it. If you're new to the channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the daily videos and check out Facebook for the daily streams. Facebook.com slash JD Crossover. And shout out to Ghost the Channel for their support. Cody, Spooky, Eric, Kieran, Josh, and Liam. Why can I not remember that? I don't know. Right. XP today, we did have some new stuff. Week 4, part 2. Original owner center rebounds, 2 multiplayer games, 15 threes of prime time, and 20 assists with the token rewards Trenton Hassel, who is a... Where is he? Mr. Trenton. He is a Sapphire card. Now, what we're actually going to do in this episode is just take all of these low-rated ones. We might as well. We're going to need them at some point this year, and they're good for the card collector levels. Um, they get the holographic ball. I think the holographic ball is actually available now. Let's just start taking some of these. I think the holographic ball is available now, and then that then goes towards getting the fireball later on through the year, and then that, that goes through to getting the unicorn ball at some point out of the year. That's right. If you don't know, there is a unicorn ball in TK22, because of course there is. Why wouldn't there be? And that is the um, you know grand prize of all of the basketball rewards this year. So you know I'm going to want to get that thing. You know I've got to do it. So we need to take all of these along the way. There we go. My team goal achieved. Collect 10 Emerald Token players. And if they drop any XP for these Emerald cards, well, now we're set. There's the Trenton Hassle, which we're going to have to use. And all these tokens we actually earned today in the draft. So the draft reward ascension wasn't that good. We've got 31 picks. As you guys saw, we've got the Amethyst player pick. We've got three rubies. We've got about... 25-ish tokens, and then we really didn't get much MT. The MT was pretty sad, I'm not going to lie. Uh, and if you guys are thinking, dude, why are you spacing your tokens now? Like, get a, get a pink diamond card. I've already got one, and I ain't going to get another one. Screw that. Until Season 2 comes around, I'm not looking to get another pink diamond. And uh, in terms of getting uh, a Galaxy Opal as soon as next season comes around, we're going to have enough tokens by, by that time anyway. We're going to finish, hopefully get towards finishing all time dom which will then lock in for some more tokens the lifetime agenda thingies they'll get done they lock in for some more tokens so we're gonna have plenty of tokens we don't need to worry about that uh for now let's just take all these and this is gonna get us 1100 cards and we're gonna have diamond danny manning now as well bruh so we'll leave it there with the emerald sapphire and ruby ones complete so we get the emerald ball we get a sapphire ball we get a ruby ball right i need one more card Right, I need one more card. <laughs> Let's add this in, and then we'll have a look if this actually gets us enough for the uh, holographic ball. Not that the hollow ball is good. It's really not by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, and there we go. That gets us Diamond Danny Manning. So we have, since yesterday, made 200 cards, or got 200 cards. 
dude. So let's start reaping some of the benefits. So first up, we've got Amethyst Slick Watts, Wits, whatever his name is, I don't know. Um, he's a point guard, he's an Evo, he goes up to the diamond level. Defensively, pretty good. I don't know about the offense. Slick Watts, that's it. Yeah, I don't know about the offense. We'll take a look at his Evo as well to see how good or bad it may be. A diamond contract pack. Now, obviously, right now, contracts are about 27, 28k, but at some point or other, they will go back up to 30k. So that basically is a 30,000 MT hit. You like to see it. Deluxe League pack from completing the draft. Easy life. It's going to be a duplicate because I've got everything in the game now. It's going to be two duplicates. Uh, is that playbook going to sell? Playbook might sell. Send it all to the auction house anyway. And then we'll open up these basketballs. Then we'll do the Ruby player picks. I've got every Ruby player in the game now. So it's going to be good to get some original owners in the collection. And I don't know, hopefully someone that's like 5k. Have I bought anybody 5k? Actually, saying that, I think the only one I don't have is Steve Nash. Steve Nash has got value because he's got that duo. So if we can get Steve, three Steve Nashes, please, 2k, that'd be great. First one is going to be Marcus Camby. Uh, we'll take an original owner of him. And then the Amethyst is guaranteed to be a new card for me because I don't have any of the Amethyst. And honestly, I might keep it. Next Ruby, uh, Drum Drum, I already got him. Might keep the uh, Amethyst as an original owner now. We'll probably sell him. Original owner Amethyst are needed for the exchange, but I don't need that in my life right about now. Third and final Ruby. Doug, Doug West. All right, see you later. All right, let's go for the Amethyst, and then we'll go for the Diamond, Danny Manning, who I don't actually know if he's any good or nah. So, Amethyst player. I don't know. Honestly, I don't even know who the Amethyst players are at this point in this game. Uh, center is going to be from the Magic. Dwight? Dwight? Dwight. We get D12. I'm not mad at that. I think he's maybe got some value, he says, without knowing at all. Hopefully he's got some value. I don't know, we'll find out in a second, but here we go. Here is a reward for 1,100 cards collected. Yesterday we got 900, today 1,100. We ain't playing no games. Let me know down below, right now, what is your card collector level? And are you going all in on it this year like I have decided to do? So there is Danny Manning, what's good big fella, hello and welcome. Right, first things first, let's have a look at Mr. D12. So Dwight Howard, Amethyst. I'm not mad at it. Oh, he's getting sold. Oh, he's getting sold big time. 15k. Let's go. We've actually completed the magic set, but we obviously do not want to lock that in. Uh, what did it say? 14.9, 59. I don't know. We'll go 15.75. Let's get rid of him. One thing to note, a little bit of a tip for you guys, a little bit of a trick for you guys right here. In the draft, I drafted Gary Harris. Gary Harris is a ruby. If you use him in the draft, he is a ruby. However, if you have the Evo version of Gary Harris, like I do here, when you go into the draft, you then use the Amethyst version. And this doesn't just work for Evos, it also works for badges. So if you've got a card that's got... Oh, I literally can't put anything on him. If I take Lou Dort, for example, if I get him in the draft and I've added, you know dimer and tight handles or whatever to him he will then have those badges in game so yeah bear that in mind when you're going into the draft just a little bit of a little bit of a tip right there and there we go oh we can lock in for the holographic ball today oh well damn 2k you didn't tell me i could do that okay so there we go that was very easy the bronze silver gold emerald uh, sapphire and ruby not in order why and that gets us the holographic ball not a good ball by any stretch of the imagination but we're going to take it. It's one step closer to a fireball, which is something that I always want to get every single year. There we go. Diamond holographic ball. Cool. We take it. And if we have a look at the basketballs right now, so there's the hollow ball for that fireball. And we need the fireball and the disco ball to get the unicorn ball. And we need... I don't even know where some of these come from, I'll be honest. Yeah, we have amethyst diamond and pink diamond, and then the vintage and beach ball I don't think are available in the game as of yet. So anyway, now we're down at the collection. Let me show you guys what I've done to get to 1100 cards. So we've picked up pretty much every card that we can from this section apart from the Amethyst. So if there's a Ruby I don't have, I've probably got a bid on it. I don't actually have a bid on World B3 right now, but Steve Nash, I said he's actually the expensive one. Uh, this, there you go. So I've got a bid on Jojo White right now. I might have got outbid on that actually. And I've been outbid on Isaiah Thomas. 
There's only a few I've got left to get. So I'm going to get everything apart from the Amethyst. If we come down to the jerseys, I've made a start. Uh, and as for the rubies, I've been paying sort of like 2,000 MT, 2,500 MT, and then getting a little bit back on refunds. For the jerseys, 750 is what I've been bidding. Have I got any active bids on jerseys? Yeah, so like I've bid 750 on all of these. We'll win some, we'll lose some. I'm not too pressed about it. And then if you can get any on buyouts, then by all means go for it. But they come up pretty, pretty scarcely. So uniforms are big, but then we come down here. Look at this. We've got every single arena in the game now. 71 playbooks. The only playbook I don't have is the Bucks one because it's very, very expensive. Every court floor apart from one, every logo, and then 24 coaches. So uh, a lot of everything, to say the least. We're going to be able to get a lot of this stuff from like domination and whatever. Um, where's the domination stuff? These are all domination, aren't they? Yeah, so we get all of these, all of these. Um, domination rewards, we're going to get those as well. Uh, these 12 here. So there's so many more cards we've got to get. And I would say don't go for the card collect level unless you are prepared to put in uh, you know, a ridiculous amount of time to grind this game out to get all the uh, reward cards that are grindable. But... In terms of the actual rewards, there's a very good reason why I have decided to go all in on it this year. So, along the way, how much MT are you actually going to get? So we're talking from like 250k, plus 150, plus 100k, whatever. All of those added up on its own is 645,000 MT. 650k just from like pure MT that gets given to you. Then, add on the diamond contract that we just got at 1,050 cars or whatever it was. And then add on five diamond contracts from here, because it's diamond contracts and half badges. You can assume it's split halfway, so it's five and five. A value of 30k each, that's 830,000 MT. And then you get all of these badge packs, you know, uh, or shoe packs, diamond shoe and boost refill, 100 cards. And then you've also got the Adidas ones, the Jordans, the Kobe's. I'm going to say quite comfortably a million MT. Just from doing the collector levels, you get yourself a million MT, which on its own is a very nice little helping hand to get more cards into the collection. In terms of tokens, you know, you get 175 there, 250, etc. I think there's a 500 there. All, all in all, 1,760. 1,760, nearly 2,000 tokens? Bruh, that is obviously enough to get you all the way through to the Galaxy Opal tier, and then obviously through that, depending on how much these are, we don't know yet how much these cost. If they're 750 like last year, it sucks. But you'd still be able to clear it and then sort of had about have about 750 left for a dark matter, which would probably be a thousand. So you'd have to just find yourself 250 more tokens. But basically it gives you an extra diamond, an extra pink diamond, and an extra opal. And then in terms of the rewards you get along the way. So let's have a look at the boys we've added through today. So if we go to Card Evo. So Slick Watts, 200 points, 25 assists, and he gets plus 10 to the three, the mid, the close shot. Silver Catch and Shoot, Gold Clamps, Gold Intimidator, Hoth Giant Slayer, Hoth Slithery, Silver Sniper, Silver Hot Zone, Gold Menace, all right, I'm not mad at that. And then let's find them over here. So Slick Watts, first of all. Six foot one point guard, 92 layup, no shooting at all, but then defense, 94 steel, 92 perimeter, 93 lateral quickness. Defensive, God, offensive, um, well, offensive, nothing. Danny Manning, 1,100 cards, 80 layup, 80 dunk, 73, 84 mid, 82 um, block and interior D, good rebounding, and then 70 lateral quickness. So Danny Manning ain't all that. He's not a Danny Manning of previous 2Ks, that is for sure. But moving down here, Daryl Dawkins, Evo goes to the pink diamond level. A few people like him, but I don't think he's exceptional. Rondo, obviously, undersized point guy. Not much to say about that. Allen Houston, not great. But Pink Diamond, Gerald Wallace. That is going to be a huge card. That is going to be a really, really powerful card. Mystery player. It's going to be a Pink Diamond. You can only assume because you've got a Pink Diamond before it and then a Pink Diamond after it. So I assume this is going to be another Pink Diamond. So you're going to get yourself uh, one, two, three, four, five Pink Diamonds. I'm going to say this one's going to be an Opal. So you get one opal there. Galaxy Opal Iggy. The diamond Iggy that came out yesterday, absolutely unreal. This opal Iggy could well could well be one of the best small forwards in the game. And they could make this one shooting guard small forward, which make him unreal. So you get a five pink diamond. You get one, two, um, three. So you get three Galaxy Opals. Then you're onto your Dark Matters. You get Dark Matter Gary Payton. The defense in this game is unreal. 
You pair that with a card that's going to have a 99 steel and 99 perimeter defense and 99 lateral quickness and Hoff pickpocket, Hoff interceptor, Hoff clamps, Hoff menace. That's going to be a scary card. So you get Dark Matter, Gary Payton. Lovely. Another Dark Matter there at 3,300 cards. Another Dark Matter there at 3,600 cards. Dark Matter Clyde the Glide. Could be good. He's had some good cards in previous 2 cases. I don't think he's incredible to be at that level. And then obviously Dark Matter Dirk at the uh, the top level. 4,000 cards. His Invincible card last year wasn't that great. The Dark Matter Dirk doesn't really excite me all that much, if I'm very honest. But... At 4,000 cards, not only do you get Dirk, you get 80 Hall of Fame badges, which is, of course, one Hoff badge of every single badge in the game. And then if you go back here, Diamond Conscious Hoff badges, you get five. So 85 Hall of Fame badges from this, 85, and a million MT, and nearly 2,000 tokens, and five pink diamonds, three opals, three dark matters, or however many it is, and then add on all the token market cards you can get. I think I'm all in for it. I really do think I am. I think I can live off these players. And for me this year, I, I don't need players. We play in the draft, they give you the team. The 100, you need three good players. And I'm only going to play it sort of like once a season, like properly to get the card. And then I'm never touching it again. Unlimited, just never touching it. And the limited, you can't even use the best players in it. And then domination, you can kind of get away with using anybody. So I don't need great players. What I'm going to find enjoyment in this year is... Going through this, getting loads of MT, getting Hoff badges, getting these mystery players, whoever they may be, and then 80 Hoff badges, because that is just going to enable us to make millions, and I do mean millions of MT come the end of this game. If they release, let's say last year, you know, Invincible Giannis came out with 65 Hoff badges. Let's say this year he comes out with 68 Hoff badges, because there's a few more badges in the game. Let's say Invincible Giannis comes out with 68 Hoff badges. We can take him up to 80 instantly. We can create a GOAT Invincible Giannis or whatever they do this year. We could do that with LeBron, Kobe. Like, oh my god, it's going to be um, very exciting. Last year, I loved my Hoff badges. This year, we're, we're trying to get as many as I can. So the fact that we're already a quarter of the way there fills me with some confidence. Obviously, it's going to depend how many current series they drop. There should be current series one around the corner when the NBA fires up. We'll get current series one and heat check set number one, which is going to be another 900 cards added in. So let's just say 900 more cards come into the game, we'll be at 2,000. So we'll get Daryl Dawkins, we'll get the Chucks, we'll get Rondo, we'll get the Currys, the Uniforms, dead. we got Alan Houston, the Superstars, 175 tokens, we'll get Gerald Wallace, the Kobe's, the Mystery Player, and there's only 5,000 empty. We'll have all that instantly. Last year, we didn't go for Jason Tatum. We, well, we did, and we got pretty close. We got here. So last year, we got to 3,650 cards. This year, I'd have the motivation to go a little bit further. I would definitely have that motivation. And the year before that, we got the grand prize, which is 2,900 cards, I think, in a Galaxy Opal Anthony Davis. So I want to get back to that. That's my motivation this year. And there we go. D12 has sold to your library. And the Diamond Boost of Steel and Vertical have sold. So still got 50,000 MT, having bought... 200 cards since yesterday. Oh my day. So next steps for me are definitely getting through all time Dom. There's a lot of cards here. Each game you get another ball and then each division you get yourself two new cards. So plenty to come through there. Do you get anything at the IF final three here? All time decades court. Is that just one? Does that say one card? I think it might say one card and then you obviously get the diamond Bob Cousy and you get 10 more tokens there. So definitely be worth doing it. Um, and other than that, there's not really many other cards we're going to get. There's a few that I've called GG's too straight away. So we're not getting Den Booker. We're not going to get Wilt. GG's. It's fine. I'm not mad at that. We're going to get Mellow. We may get Rui Hachimura. We may not. We will get these exchange rewards, but there's no point rushing it. So I don't care about that just yet. And then all of this stuff is in our hands to get it. You know, how much are the, how much are the Amethysts, actually? How much are the Amethysts? 30. So we can take two. Screw it. Let's start. Let's start taking them. Let's start. Why the hell not? We don't need the tokens, so let's take another two amethysts. And if they overdrop XP for these guys, we're straight up chilling. We're straight up chilling. So there we go. That is pretty much all we can do right now. So down on tokens, down on MT. But throughout this year, I think it is going to be very, very lucrative and very, very worth it. So let me know down below. What do you think about the card collector levels this year? Is it something that motivates you? Is it something you're going for, or are you just giving it? No thought at all. If you get some bonuses along the way, you get some. If not, it is what it is. Let me know. So that's going to do it for me today. Hope you guys have enjoyed. As usual, please like, subscribe. See you next time. Peace.